hello everybody I would like to talk about one new topic in statistics which is the equation of the linear regression line before starting talking about the linear regression line let's have some few details regarding the equation of a straight line the general formula for any straight line is simply y equal mx plus b so this is the formula for the straight line the value of m here represent the slope of the line or sometimes called the gradient which is the difference between the rise and the run and regarding the value b or the constant b it is simply the intercept between the straight line and the y-axis so simply in order to determine the formula for any straight line we should determine the two values or two constants which are the m and b so the value y is the y value for any given x value and regarding small m it is simply the slope of the line or the gradient of the line and the other constant which is b is simply the y intercept Here we have some examples regarding the straight line equations in order to understand the straight line formula. For example, this straight line, the formula is simply y is equal to 0.5x plus 1. So the, the value of the slope for this line is simply 0.5. And the intercept at the y-axis is simply 1. The way how to determine the value of the slope is simply by taking two points. For example, let's have this point number 1 and this point number 2. The change of the y-value between points 1 and 2 is simply this value. This is called the delta y the variation of the y value and of course it is a positive value because y 4.2 is greater than y 4.1 and regarding for the delta x this is the value of delta x and also delta x is a positive value in this case because x 4.2 is greater than x 4.1 so the, to determine the slope simply divide delta y by delta x delta y here we have only one unit and delta x we have two units so the slope is simply one divided by two which is 0.5 so this is how to get or understand the slope of straight line and regarding the second constant which is the one it is simply the intercept between the straight line and the y-axis this is another straight line and the formula for this straight line is simply y equal minus x plus 7 minus x means minus 1x so the value of the slope in this case is minus 1 and regarding to the intercept it is simply 7 let's see how to get the value of the slope to be minus 1 for example let's have these two points points number 1 and point number 2 regarding the change of y between these two points this is the delta y and regarding to the change of the x value between the two points we have here delta x delta y here is equal to minus 1 because 
y4.2 is less than y4.1 and regarding to the delta x it is simply one unit positive because x4.2 is greater than x4.1 so the slope here is simply delta y divided by delta x which is minus one divided by one which is one minus one and regarding to the seven it is simply the intercept between the straight line and the y-axis another straight line which is y equal to x so we have the value of x here is simply one and regarding the other constant which is b it is zero so the straight line the intercept between the straight line and the y-axis is in the origin and regarding the slope which is one let's have these two points this is point number one and this is point number two this is the change in the y values so this is delta y between point one and point two and this is the value of the change of delta x and delta y is positive because y2 is greater than y1 and regarding delta x again it is positive because x2 is greater than x1 and regarding the value for delta y it's one unit and regarding to the delta x it's also one unit so one divided by one is one so this is the value of the slope which is one so these are some few details regarding understanding the equation of the straight line this is an introduction to the regression line equation or formula so let's talk about the equation of a regression line the general formula for the regression line is simply y hat is equal to the mx plus b y hat is simply is the predicted y value for a given x value small m here represent the slope of the regression line and small b is the y intercept so first of all we have a set of observations contains contains x and y we need to determine or to generate a straight line between these two values of x and y so in order to determine this equation we should determine the values of both small m and small b the formula to determine the value of m which is the slope of the regression line it is simply n sum of x y minus sum x multiplied by sum of y divided by n sum of x square minus sum of x all square so this is a direct substitution in order to get for the value of m if we try to take the average for both y observation and x observation so we have y dash which is the mean the mean of the y values it's equal to m times x dash which is the mean for the x value plus b now we need to determine the value of b so simply you can move the mx dash to the opposite side so in this case the value of b becomes y dash minus mx dash the x dash is simply represent the mean of the x values and the y dash is the mean of the y values so after determining m 
if you know y dash and if you know the value of m and the value of x bar, simply you can determine the value of b. The value of y dash, which is the mean of the y observation, is simply sum of y divided by n minus m x dash, which is sum of x divided by n. So simply the value of b is simply sum of y minus m sum of x divided by small n, which is the total observations. So again, in order to determine the equation for the regression line, we need first to compute for the value of m, which is the slope, using this formula. And the second value, we should, we should determine the value of b, which is the intercept between the regression line and the y-axis. Let's understand all what we have said by solving for this question together. We have these following data for both two variables, x and y. We have 14 observations for x and y. First, he asked to display the scatter plot. Then, he asked to compute the person's correlation coefficient. I talked about the calculation of the person's correlation coefficient in a previous presentation, but we need to make a quick review. Third, he asked to find the equation of the regression line. Then he asked to draw the regression line. Then to predict the value of y hat, the predicted value of y for x equal 14 and x equal to 8. And finally, he asked to compute the error of prediction for the value of x equal to 10. So first of all, this is the display of the scatter plot. And simply, we can conclude that the relationship or the correlation between the two variables x and y is simply it is a positive correlation and somehow it is strong. The positive correlation simply because the x axis as the x value increases, the y values increases. So we have a positive direction correlation. The second question is to compute the person's correlation coefficient. So before starting the computation of the person's correlation coefficient, we need to add new columns for x squared and y squared and x, y. And to have the sum of all of these titles. This is the equation for the person's correlation coefficient. Now we can simply substitute for each of the variables inside the formula. This is the value of n. It is number of observations. We have 14 observations. This is sum of xy. It is 638 minus sum of x, which is 100, multiplied by sum of y, which is 72. All of these are divided by the root square of, this is n, this is sum of x square, and this is the sum of x, which is 100, all squared. All of these are multiplied by, this is n, 14, this is sum of y square, 454 minus sum of y all squared, and sum of y is simply 72. 
So now we can simply proceed to get the value of R, which is approximately 0 0.92. So this is the correlation coefficient between the two variables x and y. And in order to interpret for this value of r, simply it is a positive direction correlation. And regarding the value of the correlation, it is somehow strong. So the interpretation, we have a strong positive correlation between the two variables x and y. The third part of our question is to find the equation of the regression line. So this is the general formula for the regression line. First we need to determine the value of m, then we can determine the value of small b. This is the, the equation to get the value of m, which is the slope of the regression line. Now we can directly substitute m is equal to 14 observation. This is the sum of xy, 638. The sum of x is 100 multiplied by the sum of y, which is 72. All are divided by n, which is 14, sum of x squared, 932, minus sum of x all squared, which is 100 squared. So if you proceed, you will get the value of m to be approximately 0 0.57. So this is the slope of the regression line. Now we can simply determine the value of B, which is the intercept between the regression line and the Y axis. This is the formula to compute for the B value. We can simply substitute. This is sum of Y, 72. This is the calculated value of M, 0.57. And this is the value of the sum of x, 100. And we have 14 observations. So the value of b is equal to 1.07. So by this, we can determine the formula for the regression line. It's y hat is equal to 0.57x plus 1.07. The fourth part of the question is to draw the regression line. So this is the regression line with slope of 0.57 and the intercept is equal to 1.07. How to determine the value of the slope from the regression line itself? Simply we can take two points, any two points on the regression line and compute the variation of the y value divide this value by the variation of x, so you will get 0 0.57. Regarding the 1.07, it is simply the intercept between the straight regression line and the y-axis. The fifth part of the question is to predict the value of y hat for x equal 14 and x equal to 8. As you have noticed, we don't, we don't have any value for y for a given x equal to 14. So now simply we can predict the value of y, which is y hat, for 
a value of x equal to 14 and this is called an extrapolation because the 14 is outside outside the set of the data we have so it's called extrapolation so for x equal to 14 now we can substitute in the regression line formula so simply substitute 14 so 0 0.57 times 14 plus 1.07 so y hat is 9.05 so if you try to know the value of the predicted y for x equal 14, we should know the value of y hat for this point and the value of the y hat for this value is simply 9.05. Regarding the other value of x, which is equal to 8, again, we don't have a value for x and y from the data we already have so again we can predict the value of y hat for x equal to 8 and because the 8 is inside the the set of the data we have so it's called interpolation So now we can apply for the regression line formula and substitute for x equal to 8. So this is the value of y hat for x equal to 8. So for this value of x, this is the value of x and y hat. And regarding the value of the y hat, it is simply 5.63. The last part of the question is asking to compute the error of predict prediction for x equal to 10. This is the value of x equal to 10. We have an actual value of y for x equal 10 and the value of y for x equal 10 is simply 5 while the predicted value which is y hat for x equal 10 is the value on the straight line and it is simply greater than the actual value. So the difference between these two value is simply represent the the error of the prediction so in order to determine the value of the error simply first we need to to determine the predicted value on the regression line by applying the regression line equation So if you substitute for x equal to 10, the value of y hat is 6.77. So the predicted value y hat is simply 6.77. And regarding the actual value, it's 5. So the error of the prediction is simply represent the difference between the two values and simply equal the predicted one minus the actual one. This is the predicted value and this is the actual value and this is the difference between the two value which represent the error of prediction and sometimes it's called the residual that's all about the regression line equation. Thanks a lot for your watching and goodbye.